I'm nervous. Um, I'm, I'm nervous Justin, justice won't be served. I'm nervous. I'm irritated that we are not going to... This isn't ending with one season. Or the story ends and it's not going to be a satisfying ending. No, that'll make me want to break things. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. You did some Corbin. I'm going to break this pillow. Now we are on to the season one finale of Delhi Crimes. Uh, Delhi Crime. Um, it's been fantastic. Uh, yes, it has. Uh, I love. I can see even before the last episode why it won the Emmy. It's a very important story, mm-hmm. um, and it's it's very all well done. There's nothing. There's not really many flaws in it. Um, so yeah, this, can, this this underscores what we've talked about a lot in terms to what is it that gets the Motion Picture Academy uh, any any award of merit you're going to get internationally in America preeminent throughout our history has been importance the importance of the story and what it's saying about the society from where it's coming from where the changes that ought to be taking place in society putting a mirror up to society and that I know that's one of the biggest reasons I bet this was for, for all of the artistic merits it absolutely deserves it's such an important story yeah. well once again if in case you're new because a lot of people do show up just for the finale episodes the most watched usually episodes are the season uh, for the first one and if there's like a one that has some crazy, if like it was Mizapur or whatever, like a crazy murder in it that everybody knew was coming. Right, a red and, wedding scene. Yeah, or if the finale. The finale is always the one that probably usually has the most views on it. So in case you are new, uh, we can only use five minutes of each cut up episode. And that's just the going rate. That's what we had to do for Mizapur. That's what we had to do for Patalok. Everything. Um, so if you'd like to see the full uncut version, head over to Patreon. Uh, there for our exclusive Patreon babies, uncut of us, the hour long reaction. Um, you get the, everything, all with, of the farts, all of the burps. <laughs> um, and uh, the link is in the description and the pinned comment below. All right, well, let's just get into it, man. This is the this is the last one of this season. Go. You ready? That's a bummer. Yeah. Three, two, one. What tomari khilaf use karegi? You cannot do this. Do you understand? I understand, madam. So call it off. But do you agree? <laughs> he always says, I understand, but that doesn't mean he agrees. I don't want to be in jail for me, sir. I'm a juvenile welfare officer. 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 मैं इसे माइनर में ही बुक करूंगी प्लीज सॉरी टू गॉड इफ दैट्स व्हाट हैपेंस थैंक यू ओह दे ऑल गेट ऑफ ऑन अ टेक्निकलिटी हेलो एक्सक्यूज मी काम डाउन और एक बाकी गुड लीडर वी वांट जस्टिस वी वांट जस्टिस दिस इज अ साइन यू कैन गेट बिहाइंड रेड on this right but i can't unless i know you get this last guy and our case against all of them is air tight i promise you good enough i will take full responsibility i will be the fine guy no oh, god no i know where this is going okay uh. i'll call you back later oh my god no पर मुझे ये स्टेटमेंट रिकॉर्ड करना होगा ताकि बाद में कोई डिस्टर्बेंसी ना हो विद ऑल ड्यू रिस्पेक्ट माय लॉर्ड ऑडियो एक्जेक्टली बाय यू हियर लियो या देयर इज मोर देन वन वे टू रिकॉर्ड अ कन्वर्सेशन तो ये 
ये कहते सना कि मुझे से लड़कियों को जान से मार देना चाहिए फिर उन्होंने एक आयरन रॉड मेरे अंदर डाल दिया और बाहर अंदर डालते और निकालते रहे फिर अपना हाथ भी मेरे अंदर डाल दिया और पता नहीं क्या क्या बाहर खींच लिया Don't do that. So, can you take a day off now? Hmm. Of course, I can take it. Second, the second, the second, the second, the second, the कमीशन से डरते हो। मुझे पता है है। हमने सब सब कुछ ठीक किया और इन को रिकॉर्ड करना बहुत जरूरी है। सही से। हो जाए। वेरी क्वाइटली, सो इट मिस्ड मीडिया रीडर। टू मीनिंग टू दिस। बोलो। मैम त्यार से फोन आया जैसे मर गया बोल रहे हैं सुसाइड किया हाँ खुशा या Uh when did these events take place? Um I want to say like 2012. Hold on. Um Two thousand twelve. Okay. Yeah. I have no clue how long it typically takes if they sentence someone to death in India. Well, this was this series was made in two thousand nineteen, so I'm assuming mm-hmm. they're probably still on death row. I could be wrong. Yeah. I don't know. Obviously, in in our legal system, they could be there literally for life on death row. Uh, yeah, depending. state um i'm glad there were stricter punishments um i i don't know the statistics on if they've helped i hope they have or what uh, was comparatively yeah. to what they were yeah, yeah no yeah. idea i don't know um it does suck that one of them only sentenced 3 years but mm-hmm. uh minors i guess um And I don't know if they have. See, in the United States, we do have crimes that are heinous enough that a minor can be tried as an adult. Yeah. I don't know if they do that in India, but they do it here. Hmm. 
they did a very nice job of doing something I didn't expect them to do, uh, which was actually, you know, I was looking at the runtime of how much we had left, and I'm like, are they going to wrap this up, or are we going to a season two with this story? And apparently, no, they're going to take a crime, and that will be the season. Yeah. And I bet, I don't right. even know if they'll have the same cast. Uh, it'll probably yeah, be a I, I, completely different cast, kind of like The Crown has done, where they've switched after two seasons. They, It's now completely different right. uh, cast. Right. Um, that's interesting. I feel kind of like... Can I give a... Go ahead. No, no, no. You feel kind of like... I just don't know how to feel. Maybe it's just because of the, the nature of the case that I'm like... I don't think I might have ever felt like justice was served, I guess. Um, it's it's hard to feel that when, you know, she this happened to her and she died. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and then that guy still gave an interview. And I still feel like they didn't address some of the stuff that I wanted them to address. Maybe you guys know it and it just wasn't important to the series. And it was kind of, you know, like who was leaking... Um, right. What, what was actually going on with the boyfriend? Because I thought he was like somebody other than who he said he was. I thought that was what mm-hmm. was said, unless I'm stupid and I I didn't I misunderstood that. Um, and I don't feel like they addressed that. Um, but I don't. It's one of those series that you don't. You don't know how to feel because it's it's not like the end of Mizapur, right? Where you're like, oh, this great big shootout happened, people died, uh, it was it was epic. You're looking forward to next season. It's a completely different type of show, so it's almost like you don't know how to feel at the end of it because somebody got off, she still died, and like, yeah. But I I think the overall the overall show is is a really well done show. And I'm not, mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not yeah, saying. it leaves you. It leaves you with the same feeling you get watching a documentary. Yeah. Where certain things are not wrapped up, certain people got away with things, certain people didn't, certain things are unanswered, and because it is a true story, you have that the weight of that uh, on you, and uh, the reality that you know there, it's <laughs> rapes are still happening. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of things, you know. Again, I don't know. I don't know what the rape laws were and what they are now. Um, and the judicial and legal system isn't enough because what's causing the rapes is what needs to be addressed. Uh, punishing the rapists—that's that's not a good thing to focus on because that's not stopping it. It's just punishment for it occurring. Somehow, some way, we there, there's got to be more done in terms of safety of women, uh, the education of men, uh, the rehabilitation of men, uh, the eradication, and and often and sadly, there's nothing you can do because you're going to have evil in the world, and evil people will do evil things. Um, so, and. Uh, so much of the show was done such understated they did such a good job I would imagine anybody who was on this case I'd love to know anybody who was involved in this case in some way shape or form whether it was her family or people involved uh, at the legal level how they felt this was handled because it sure seemed to be deeply respectful deeply uh, aware of the fact that what is most important here is the story we're telling not to draw attention to anything about what we're doing artistically even though the artistic level this is going to seem silly but even something as technically accurate as making sure continuity was aware of the status of her ice cream bar when she walked over to her to talk to her yeah little little things like that are what maintain suspension of disbelief and keep you in the story because you could easily notice oh shit she was halfway through her ice cream bar back then, and now it's 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 back. It's full. Continuity paid attention to that. Yeah, and that <coughs> that was great. Unsung heroes of film sets. 
of continuity people. Indeed, in, indeed, indeed. Um, I did really enjoy how they meshed the story with also the lives of these police officers and mm-hmm. their and their and their home lives in a very subtle. There's a, obviously this is not the main story, but this is just part of these people's lives that we also just wanted to show you a little bit of. Some of the stuff was, right. you know, you would think pointless in them telling us some of this, but it, it just added to the believability of it, I feel. And I would also like to know I agree. from people who know this this story how accurate everything was. Um, right. To what That's actually important. happened. Because obviously we have zero idea right now. Um, it's This is all we know. And we've heard a lot of good stuff about the show, we're, so we're hoping that it was accurate to what right. what what went on um the whole protest scene was actually i thought really well done too um mm-hmm. those uh, yeah it's everybody I, I just i leave this show and it's like yeah that was really good it's just it's like after you watch a, a, a terrible documentary you're like oh i can't believe that happened Mm-hmm. I can't believe those yeah. people did that to this poor girl, and now she is she's gone. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, so, yeah. Let us know how accurate this was um, in terms of um, what actually happened in the case, because we will we will actually look at the comments now. <laughs> Um, we finished it before it ever came up on YouTube, so uh, that's a good way of yeah. Thankfully, no spoilers. Eliminating spoilers is just not having it on YouTube because you know there's just going to be some asshole that's going to tell us tell us how it ends. And I thought everybody in the show did such a good job. I liked our guy from Mizapur. I uh, the main obviously girl Sush. What's her name? The actress. Um, 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 from Juice. Yeah, I'm gonna brain for it. Shahali. Yeah. Her, and then our our other friend from Mizapur, who looked like she was 16 in this, uh, mm-hmm. did a fantastic job. Overall, fantastic series. Um, fantastic series. It's a it's a very important series, and I think it. I'm hoping it brought up a lot of important conversations again. Like I'm sure this case brought up important conversations, and then I'm hoping this rehashed, because obviously the the issue hasn't stopped. Um, so I'm I'm hoping this nope. this helped to forward the uh, the movement um, to. I don't I don't know if you're ever gonna get rid of rape. Sadly, it's been going on since mm, since men were around, basically. I I would assume. <laughs> no, but there there is a reason it happens less often in certain places than it does in others. Um, yeah, and a lot of that has to do with ignorance and so bigotry. There's, so there's always something you can do. Uh, mm-hmm. More you could do to uh, to prevent it because I always hate that argument that um, for whatever, not just obviously rape or anything like that. Like people that say if you put a law into place, criminals are still going to commit crimes. Uh, uh, it's it's a, an issue we have here with the gun laws. Um, people say that if you put stricter laws on guns, criminals are not going to follow the laws. But that's a very flawed because then we should have no laws at all. Uh, exactly. <laughs> you should make it as hard as possible, as humanly hard as possible, to do for a criminal to commit the act mm-hmm. as you as you can. Mm-hmm. Then you've done everything you can do. Yes, right. people are still going to do bad things, but it doesn't mean you shouldn't try to stop it as much as p- humanly possible. Like so, this, this, a hundred percent. I don't know. Obviously, know if it was preventable, but there's things you could put into place that that would make it a lot more difficult for people to do this kind of stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. And for people, for women, that's I think the, probably the biggest thing is. S- putting something in place to support women to come out about their uh, what's happened to them uh, it's obviously happened uh, for a while with the Me Too movement but 
obviously that's just I think a lot of high profile people mostly uh, there's everyday regular women that experience this every single day and they, they need support in, in coming forward and, and getting justice for, for what has happened to them mm-hmm. so, yeah that's my two cents <laughs> well I can't say it was fun but it was a great show uh, important show and very important show uh, let us know uh, what sh- series we should uh, continue next once again if you're here for the first time Sony LIV has said no to Delhi or whatever it is the scam 19 some 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 um, but there's other ones I know there's um, the the Amazon one about the weddings I think um, Zoya Oktar directs it um, what's it called right? Made in Heaven Made in Heaven. Made in heaven. Uh, and then, obviously, Family Man Season 2 coming out in February. But, once again, um, women and anybody who's experienced something like this, we are here for you. And we love you. And, um, yeah, I think the entire stupid family is here in support of you. So, that's, yes. I think, what we'd want and, to leave this show with. Yeah, and... Um, I think this kind of goes without saying, but it should be said. Uh, Young men, if you're in a situation where any one of your friends starts to assault a girl, you're not supposed to join in, asshole. You're supposed to stop it. And if you don't, I really, I, I genuinely do wish they would. Chemical castration isn't enough. Yeah. That is not enough. Um, but the problem is men. The problem is men. Yep. It's bigotry, hatred, evil, men. So. Yep. <sighs> what? Um, on to the next series. <laughs> I, don't the next series. I don't know how to end it. <laughs> Dina, <laughs> <laughs>